Okay, first off, pardon the air conditioner noises. Um, I don't know what the release cycle of the videos will be, but I just bought this uh, Busby Blaster at a thrift store today, and I did not check it in the store because I was really just kind of excited for finding it, because this is normally found only in a two-pack and I don't want the other one. However, I found out that it doesn't prime... I don't know, it's kind of weird. You... so you... You pull back, it doesn't catch, and then it's locked. And you have to push the trigger before, like if you do that, hmm, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. So I don't know if this video will amount to anything, but I'm gonna open it up and see what's what. Seems to be a problem with the catch. This uh, dart tooth flap is working correctly. Normally these uh, MagFed Busbies have kind of a bar that links the trigger to a spring action thing so we're just going to see what's what and for now i'm going to try and get in without cutting or removing this um single orange solvent welded piece what i should be able to do is remove enough screws that i can kind of pry it open only at the back and then hopefully things won't go springing everywhere Alright, so I have enough screws out and stuff in order to at least partly butterfly the blaster open. Um, I am worried about this going any way it wants to. And uh, one thing I do like about most of the MagFed Busby blasters is all of the screws are exactly the same, so that makes reassembly easier. Okay, so one quick note there is a little hole in the trigger mechanism that latches onto that rod that I was talking about that will activate the dark tooth at the front. This is also definitely not the first Busby Blaster which has had uh, essentially internals on one side of the shell but having the screw holes on the same side. As loath as I am to do it, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this open because it's too... It is too annoying to reassemble. Alright, the good news is... I got it fixed. I even... Yeah, it's dry fire safe, it has an air restrictor. I even ended up taking apart, without intending to, I took apart the Busby lock block. I do not recommend that. It is complicated. I'm going to put up some photos that I took because doing it as a video probably wouldn't work well. So what I found is that this, at least this is my conjecture, this little orange piece here is the catch, a functional catch in stock form. Look at that. That's pathetic. So what happens is the the notch on the plunger rod comes back and it tries to catch on the catch, right? And and apparently that broke, and so it didn't, it wouldn't catch. So what I did is, and I'm impressed that this could occur, but basically the way the catch works is a spring that goes in to, to, to catch the plunger rod, okay? And I took off enough material, I'll put up some still photos, I took off enough material that the catch can go up further so that when it's missing the little, I can't really make my fingers, when it's missing this tooth, okay, without the tooth, it was doing this, so I made it, I took off enough material so it can go up all, more and, and catch on the entire thing. I can't believe I had to do that, but it works. Um, that is extremely annoying that the, assuming I'm correct, but if that's the entire thing that catches this blaster, that's really sad. And I could see more of these failing. If you watch this, I hope you enjoyed it, because I didn't really enjoy making it. Uh, but at least I have a functional blaster at the end. Later on.